here's a picture of a, of a digital cashier. This is a work from home cashier. This picture was taken in New York City. It's this place called San San Chicken and the cashier is zooming in from the Philippines and being paid 375 an hour. So she oh, is running wow. she's running the like customer system, so similar to a normal cashier would be kind of typing in, you know, what the order is, sending it back to the people so they can make it and it'll be brought out. Um it so I looked into it a little bit. It's a new mechanism to avoid wage loss, essentially. It's it's going on in Canada and the United States, specifically in New York City. But it's basically, instead of having to pass on the higher cost of those laws to customers in terms of food, this is a way to pay people less money outside of the country to lower the bottom line. So the argument is that it's more than the minimum wage in the Philippines. So people in the Philippines are making more money. However, we are literally, you know, removing a human element of, of ordering food. I just so could bizarre. not get over how dystopian this was. I'm surprised they didn't, you know, put it together and use like a, a machine. Why would they do that rather than, you know, a kiosk? The argument is that the kiosks don't have the same human touch. So someone said they went to New York and they went to New York and had one of these virtual cash, cashiers. And they said the cashier was warmer and nicer than a normal cashier from New York City would be. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm walking here. So they're saying that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's cheaper and nicer than a New Yorker. So the argument is that it has more of a human touch than just a straight kiosk and they're more helpful and nicer. <laughs> but I don't know, guys. I feel like this kind of makes me feel like Tucker Carlson right now where he's like the question, do you know, do we get rid of all the trucking jobs because of uh, self-driving trucks? And he's like, absolutely not. You know, that there's there's reasons why we have people drive these trucks and it's good for Americans to be employed. Well, here's the thing when it comes to politicians in, in the minimum wage. Politicians love, they love to pretend that they solve problems. So a politician loves to be able to say, let's raise the minimum wage to $20 an hour and I'm going to I'm, I'm going to get it done. And then they pass the law and then they don't care about the consequences afterwards. So, our, I mean, you know, then businesses like this will just they op they either do kiosks like a lot of McDonald's do or they do this. They, I cannot even believe this. A remote Zoom uh, to ca cashier. Um, I'm surprised they do that instead of a kiosk, but maybe it's cheaper than a kiosk. I, I mean, I don't know. No, they're saying the argument is that they get better service and there's more human touch. And funny enough, there's an option to tip the virtual cashier after they help you out. So send that tip out to the Philippines or wherever. I think even if this does make food cheaper or if it's employing someone in the Philippines, I don't know if I want to live in a world where I go to to a corner restaurant and I don't see any humans. You know, like I, I remember a time where there was localized cafes ran by humans uh, employing local teens in the community and the person that's running the cafe is your neighbor. And I feel like this is just a natural evolution of large corporate chain restaurants trying to be the most efficient and innovative to beat other people to more profits. And of course, there's there's a spiritual element missing to all of this in that those are supposed to be community institutions connecting us. And now we're literally, I mean, there's literally a virtual cash, like there's no real person. It sounds like to me, you're saying that the restaurant itself who's, who's hiring these employers is the villain. I'm not saying that they're not, but I, I still think that the main villain here are, would be politicians that would place the minimum wage at a level. It's, it's just too high for the market to bear. And so the these politicians just think, oh, well, we can raise it to $20 an hour or whatever it is. And the businesses will just, they'll just deal with it. And the problem is actually they can't just deal with it sometimes because the the price of food at restaurants in New York City are already very high. And if you just crank it up another 20, 25, 30%, they're going to lose their customers. People are like, I just can't afford this. And so then the restaurant goes out of business. And so, I, I mean, I sort of feel for this company. Like that's why, you know, when you pass these $20 minimum wages in some of these cities that, uh, you know, companies like McDonald's are like, well, then we'll just put a kiosk in. And in this case, I guess this restaurant is going with, Zoom workers from Nick. I somewhat disagree. I think my argument is that big corporate conglomerates that are passing on retail chains that they have no connection to, they would make this innovation regardless. 
I don't think this is a minimum wage thing. I think they're trying to beat other people to profits. So if you walked into a McDonald's, they, they all have these kiosks now. They've replaced people. And the food they're making are poisonous to us. And like, I, like maybe I just have a problem with the, the, the large corporate influence in you know, local food. Like I, I don't think, look at the stuff they put in food. Look at how they've shrank all of it. Sure, you can make arguments that it has to do with minimum wage laws, but I don't think so. Maybe we shouldn't have fast food. I think minimum wage laws that are being cranked up too high are definitely an accelerant on this. The question For is, sure. is it, is it going to be that every restaurant does this? That's a, I mean, I don't know if that's the case. You know, maybe we'll see. You're sounding like a crunchy conservative, Tom, but I, I'm agreeing I am. with you. <laughs> um, and, and the answer, of course, is buy local. Because I, I do think, I do think, I agree with you. I think McDonald's, if they were given the choice, they would. Um, and the problem is, so the governments, then the state and local governments and federal governments respond to the big corporations and who gets hurt the most? The little guys. Who, who That's then, absolutely true. Who then are stuck with all the different regulations that these big corporations are adjusting and can afford. They can afford paying $20 an hour. Um, but the Delray Cafe right up the street from me cannot. Um, and they're the ones that'll go out of business. McDonald's won't. 